Hey, what's happening guys? So I finally got to pick up my Axis 35 and I finally got a chance to shoot the Vail 38. I don't have a whole lot of video of it, but I have a little little look at both of them. Uh, lots of videos to come, but here's a little, little shot of them. The, uh, I thought I hit the stop button. <laughs> The, the Veil 38 Hummingbird will be at the very end. I'm going to add it to the end. There's a, It's just a look at it. I didn't shoot it or anything. Uh, we'll have to spend some more time with it. And just we'll have to keep an eye out for more videos. We're going to do that and shoot a few other bows. But alright. Like and subscribe. Enjoy the video. Alright. So we got the smoke show. Smoke show is home. Well, it's getting ready to come home. I, uh... Hadn't, haven't really messed with it a whole lot. I shot it, got it shooting on. Uh, it has the 80 pound limbs. I didn't buy it to shoot 80 pounds. I bought it because I wanted to shoot it like 75 ish. With that 7 inch brace height, I was really looking for a little more than 70. Uh, I thought that I'd really like 70, 75. I had to take, I took two turns out. Two turns put me at 76 pounds. And it feels about like a, I don't know, 68 to 70 pound bow. Like it feels, feels really good right there. For me, anyhow, me personally. So, yeah, the old Axis 35. Uh, I really like the way it feels. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to play around with it a little bit more. I was shooting it really freaking good today. And I shot, I shot the veil. I like the veil. I like the veil a lot. Uh, and that hummingbird, oh my god, that hummingbird is a sexy color. Got my new Athens hat on, my ambassador, my ambassador Athens hat. Pretty excited about that. Uh, just leaving average gather. That was awesome. Pretty awesome. Had a good time. Everybody shooting me, Kelly. Garrett and uh, Nate. It was it was fun. We all had a good time shooting. Ugh. God, it's freaking so cold up here. I should have started my car up. Ugh. My car. I should have. I should have. Oh my god! I hit the wrong button. I should have started my car up before I freaking packed everything up. Freaking freezing in here. But I'll add a little bit of video. I'll add a little video in of the hummingbird it'll be at the end and uh i'm telling you i really really like that bow fuck you light i'm running you it just can't handle it i uh i really really like the veil 38 that bow feels like there's not really a whole lot of difference between the veil and the peak like you can you can feel that there's a difference the riser is different it feels like a a better bow like it just it just it feel like when you shoot it like it just it feels like okay all right there's a good bow uh i may come back up tomorrow and spend a little bit more time with it kind of get from there but thank you mr nate average jack archery setting me up hooking me up and uh yeah pretty excited to uh pretty excited to start shooting my 35 my 35 my ibo my rbd it's not it's gonna be my speed bow like uh i really really like my peak and uh i shoot my peak really good and my plan is to shoot my peak for i or asa stuff and indoor stuff that's the plan anyhow uh but i may end up buying a Vale 38 just because I like that bow so much like I really like that bow so could be uh, could be getting rid of the Green Goblin could happen here within the next month or two we'll see we'll see what happens I uh, if I I want to get through Lancaster before I do anything but between now and Lancaster if I can put some more arrows through that bow very good chance I go ahead and set it up. Very good chance. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyhow, like, subscribe, all that fun, happy jazz. 
like I said, I'll add a little video of the hummingbird. Athens axis or Athens Vale. Athens Vale hummingbird will be at the end here. Peace and love, y'all.